today I've chosen three movements from um, Unit 1, which I chose Realism, Symbolism, and Fatherism. Um, the three art pieces I have picked from those three movements are from Realism, it's the Stonebreakers by Gustave Corbett. And Symbolism, it's Death in the Masks by James Ednor. And Fatherism is River Scene at Chaito by Maurice de Vlaminic. I have a hard time pronouncing these names, so bear with me. So, Frillism, they recognized, they were recognized as the first modern movement in art, which rejected traditional forms of art, literature, and social organizations as unmodeled in the wake of the Enlightenment and, and Industrial Revolution. So, realism replaced traditional art and painted real life events that were going on at the time. So, being that the Enlightenment movement and Industrial Revolution was going on, they a lot of their paintings were depicting depicting a real scene of what how tart the times were and what their people were going through and the poverty of the of what was going on. So in the Stonebreakers painting, he Gustave Corbett, he shows two men, one was old and one was young, going through, you know, they're out and about, they're breaking stones, and in the scene, in this, in this canvas, it's showing the men, two men larger than the actual background. He wanted to show the hands, the dirtiness of their clothing, um, just the how rough they were, how rough they looked, and show the poverty of what was going on in that in that point in time in their life. Um, they used dark, earthy palettes to show the darkness and the dullness of how hard it was for them and um they also use the media just like today we use you know for modern technology the media is definitely a lot larger than what it was but they use media then to to um enhance their celebrity in the manner that continues today so um media was still a big impact back then and the painting it just it shows realism of everyday life and how hard it was for that movement and what was going on in that point in time. Um, for symbolism, it's an artistic and literary movement that suggests ideas through symbolism and emphasize the meaning behind the forms, lines, and shapes. So um, symbolism artists showed their emotions, their feelings, their ideas of what was what they thought and how it symbolized something. So on the Death in the Max painting by James Ensor, Ensor impacts lifelike qualities to the skull of the death of the center of the, of the painting. And around him are people with masks. And he was covering the spiritual hollowness and the descendants of the times. So the crowd is suggested as a society in this painting. And Ensor works with light and bright palettes that suggest whimsy and absurdity at the same time that he employs a rough and textural application. So he is painting with a bright color palette, unlike the realism paintings, they're painting with the dark color palette. So in realism, they were painting real life events. In symbolism, they're painting their feelings and their ideas. They're painting stuff that they think symbolizes this, but we may think it symbolizes something else. It's just how you perceive it. And so the bright colors, unlike the realism, are dark colors because it's more real than what symbolism artists were uh, painting. And so these two are similar because they do have meaning and they do draw attention to one thing in their painting. Like in the realism stonebreakers, they're drawing attention to the two men. They're larger. They're trying to show us like how these people were living and what was going on. In the realism, or in the symbolism one, it was showing the masks and the skull, and and they were all in a crowd, and they were it was symbolizing something completely different, but they were drawing attention in that way. Um, Fauvism were a loosely allied group of French painters which shared the same interests. Some of the artists like Matisse, Marquet, Rollet, Moore, and were all part of the symbolism movement. So they used intense colors to describe light and space and redefine pure color and form as means of communicating the artist's emotional state. So just like symbolism, fauvism, they were painting their beliefs and their feelings and ideas and how they felt. And so fauvism artists valued individual expression. 
And this is similar to symbolism, which I had just mentioned. Um, all three of these paintings are oil and canvas, so they all share that in, in common. Um, the painting, The River of Scene of Chaito, is from the Fauvism movement. And the painting, he poured paints of art, of just tubes of art onto, you know, onto the canvas. And they were light colors. And it wanted, this painting, it was like a real scene, but it was, you could tell that it was in his own self-expression because it wasn't like a picture. You couldn't, you could take a picture of this scene and then look at this painting and they wouldn't look similar, but the outside, like the landscape and the outline of it would be kind of similar because the scene was taken from, you know, that picture, but it was different. Um, all three of these paintings are from different art movements and they all have their own style. Technology helped advance paintings throughout the day today, but back then they didn't have the sources we do. So their styles are all different, but they still do use technology in the media. But um, these paintings, unlike the realism, you couldn't just go and take a picture and that's what it would look like because they were painting with expression and feeling and they all symbolize something different and they all came after each other. And so they all use different ideas from each other, but they all have their own expression. Um, I'll link the paintings in the discussion post so y'all can take a look at all three of them. Thank you.